Hello folks, welcome back to Evergreen Valley. So yeah, we're just hopping to the pickup, leaving the hotel, leaving that crack door, we just had breakfast and that. And yeah, we need to head back up to the mine, we rush you know the moral area and that, because we do have one more load to sell. We did sell four loads, that took us, what, about three, four hours to do that, or something like that. But yeah, so anyways, we're up to $26,000 now. So yeah, I think if we sell this one more load... And yeah, I'm really tempted on doing some contracting today. Just went off for some permissions and that from the local government and that, so... But yeah, we're looking at... There are several contracts we can do at the moment. Just pull over here a sec. So yeah, there's a ton of contracts we can do. Plow in on that on 25. Or 25 2 down south. Nope. Just between the woodland area. So we can do all of these contracts. However, the problem's going to be having a plow that's able to do it. So if we go to our equipment. Yeah, I'm thinking. Maybe something. Yeah, that's 320 horsepower. 260 even for the 6 meter one. Honestly, I'm looking at that because that is far cheaper to borrow than that. Because it was going to be $400 to borrow. There's going to be several hours put into that. However, fit. So we need a tractor in that. 180 horsepower, so. I think I'm gonna look for the Coloss one actually, so where is it to? Did see one the other day. Actually no. I think I'll go with something like the case actually, because that's got a front loader option. So also I'm thinking of doing some hay contracts, so let's go with biggest engine we can. Front attacher, yes. Ah, yeah, so make sure it's got front loaders option turned on. Ah, so... That's going to be a problem. If it's got the front three-point linkage, we can't have a front loader, so... Unless we look at possibly like a skid steer now. Just something to load the bells on, because I'm planning to do some hay contracts, so... I think skid steer... How much is that? It's 1,200 quid. Because, yeah, I'm thinking, if you get a lot of these contracts done, obviously pending permission. Because, yeah, I don't know, I think there's something in the air at the moment, I just can't really put a finger on it. Like, you come to this new area now, and yeah, the locals seem nice and that, but I'm not sure there's something off now. Maybe because I'm a foreigner coming over, so I'll take camera break, so. I am a foreigner in this strange new world for us. Wait, anyway, let's head up to the mine. And actually, I am just going to clarify something up. Because, yeah, I think it comes slightly under fire, in a way. Because, yeah, if we have a look, that is us. That is our bank account. That's us. The authorities' account. That's who we are working for. We've come here and we're working for them. Yes, they got dance, they got equipment and that, they got all three mines. They got, got tons of equipment that these ships sell now, but obviously we can't access those. We can access on land with permissions, that with some permits. We have some special permits to work on the land. However, I can't just, you know, borrow our combine harvesters and that. Obviously, I need to get permission. And then, because it's the authority, there's going to be a fee on that. Like, if you do harvesting contracts. So I think we can try to do some harvesting contracts today. But obviously that's going to come later on. But anyway, let's go and grab this load. I think it's somewhere down here because... You know, I think I left it over here because it was getting late in that. And because there's not many locally lit roads and that. Yeah, it's just up here. I wasn't given 
permission to take this back down and sell it. A swell special you didn't have anywhere to store at the moment, so technically we've been a bit cheeky. And actually also I need to pay the hotel some money, the 250 bucks a night, so we're not paying for. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay for now for October, November, December and January, so let me just go and pay that grant off a sec, I'll send it over his phone. There we go, $1,000 transferred over. So yeah, that's going to cover us for the next four months, well, this month and the next three months afterwards. So, got a full load of 11,000 litres. However, using the shovel is annoying, so... Once we sell this, I may need to make some phone calls. See if I can get permission, because I want a tractor. I want a loader, skid steer loader as well, and a plow. Obviously, can't use other farmers' equipment at the moment, so we'll get a bit screwed with the year. We should have our lights on and our beacons. Because we're coming down that speed, so yeah. Let's head over and sell the light. And there we go, so yeah, I'm just going to pull over here. Bit quiet this morning. Hey, early bird gets the worm, as I say so. We'll head over here and sell the line. So that is another four thousand pound dollars. Again, I'm a Brit. I've recently transferred over here, so it's gonna be a while before I get accustomed to save dollars and that. But yes, yeah, so let's go head over to store. Ooh. Ooh. Let me pull that on the lorry there. Or truck. But yes, yeah, going to head to the dealership because actually, aren't they going to be even open yet? Is it 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock they open? Actually, I'm not sure. So, Ooh, pedestrian. Look where you go in. So, yeah, look. We'll Take right here, so yeah, here we are at Cleaver Motors. So, ah, right, so yeah, it looks like they're open, fair enough. Ah, so, the park somewhere over here for now. There we go, turn the engine off. So, yeah, spare me a sec. So, I also see if it was in. Gates are open, so I'm assuming so. And then, yeah, we'll see if we get some equipment borrowed and that. May take a couple of hours, but I want to get these contracts done. Alrighty then, so that was a very interesting conversation we had with the dealership and the local authority. That's because I've placed an order for some equipment. I've got the steer, or Case IH steer, 9220. Along with the 6 meter plough, so we get the plan contracts done. But yeah, I was hoping we were going to get some of these hay contracts done, but... Apparently, we're waiting on for some mowers and that. So yeah, I don't know, but... Anyways, that's not the worst part of it all. The worst part of it was, yeah, during the conversations... Yeah, we had a look, look at that about the contract situations, had to wait for the permits and all that. But yeah, with any contract we do, because the reason why we're borrowing all this stuff at the moment, I want to get some more stuff. Because yeah, for the bait in, we'll need like a front loader or something. Can't do it with the case here. So we need like a skid steer or something. But yeah, so with these contracts alone, we're meant to get 34 grand. However, the local 40 had other plans. They said. Since we're a newcomer here, we're still waiting on for our official... Because we're here on the visa at the moment, a worker's right visa, it's all legit. However, to stay here long term, we need some form of citizenship, so... I'm not sure on that. In terms of their weird requirements of a citizenship to... able to do our own contracts, the equipment we pay money to borrow, but yet they still get a money from it. That doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, so out of this 34 grand, 
only eight and a half grand to come to us. So yeah, I'm hoping we get some of these being contracts done. Hopefully we get some harvesting contracts done. But at the moment I'm gonna prioritize the plan contracts because that's what's gonna make us the most money at the moment, so we need to hop to field Yeah, maybe we'll go up here. Yeah, 3, 10, and 22. So let's head over there a sec and then, yep, get everything set up. Because, yeah, like, with the whole authority situation, that is absolutely arcing me off a bit. But I can't lose my temper. I've got to remain cool, remain calm. Because one of the things is, if we do require a citizenship, then I'd rather be in the good books of the locals here because, yeah, that's the thing I want is any aggro. Because, yeah, when I like, complain about the whole prices of everything, like, why they're taking a 75% cut of my earnings, I always say, 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 taxes or something like that. But, yeah, so they threatened to get sheriffs on me. The sheriffs are just down the road down there, so. Obviously, I don't know, but. I'm just coming through here because I am absolutely frustrated, so. Let's go over here. But yeah, we've got the permits, we've got all the permissions. We've given a copy of all of our licenses in terms with not just not just your typical driving license, but your things like hazardous goods licenses and anything that requires like transporting chemicals or using chemicals. But yeah, let's get this contract started, shall we? And there we go. We are plowing. Yeah, six meters working with, but we're still doing this at 10, 11 miles an hour, so. I should really. I should have 70 kilometers. Yeah, 16.9, 70 kilometers we're doing this at. Revs are staying steady at 1900, 2000 revs. Almost said 20,000 revs then, but no, it's just 2000 revs. But yeah, so the cost of everything is going to be interesting because. Every hour we're using this, every work hour, we're paying two and a half grand for the tractor. And in terms with the plow itself, if I have a little, quick look here, we're paying an additional $357 an hour. So, all in all, $2,900 an hour. And yeah, so can we get all this done? Yeah, just looking at the plowing, we're 7% done, apparently. But I'm going to make sure everything is done. I don't want to leave little bit snacks. The last thing I want is, again, the locals to complain. Oh, careful not going to the other fields. And that's the downside of this as well, because if we're going to do like harvesting contracts, we're going to need something with narrow tires, because otherwise, we're just going to end up see. For destroying the crops like these ones here, which are withered, it's not a problem because we're plowing straight behind afterwards. So, honestly, I don't know. It's been frustrating. And yeah, that's not including all the game crashes I've been having with this. Like, yeah, yeah, moving to the episode. All good. Done the first segment. All good. The next thing you know, start having game crashes, and that's why you may notice. The D ship has had some new tractors and new bits coming in. They've been bought up in that, so yeah, just getting back to the D ship a little bit at the moment. I think they are. But apparently, they're going to have some new sock coming in soon at some point, so that's why things are a bit lighter than planned. So, but anyways, we've got these contracts to do, so let's get cracking on. It is quarter past twelve, so. By the end of the day, I want to make sure all these contracts are done to the best of our ability because I don't know if we can afford to lease these for another day. But yeah, let's get this done and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
there we go. We are almost done now. So we've done those three contracts. And now we're just completing another three. And this is the second to last one. So, yep, says contract is completed. However, we still need to finish the rest of the field off. Because as I mentioned, despite the whole situation with the dealership, with the authority that we're on, Maybe it's not directly from locals here, the local authority here. Maybe it's from the people in the big city over there, over the woodlands. So, honestly, I don't know what's going on at the moment. But, anyways. But yeah, if we hit the three hour mark of this, we're going to pay extra money. And these contracts we're doing now ain't going to be worth it. So, if we have a look. Yeah, three, six, just under ten grand, so I need to send seventy two hundred dollars over because we'll get these three contracts completed, so actually what let's send that money now. So So that is there seventy five percent for all three contracts we're gonna do now. Seventy two hundred. So yeah, that will cover yeah all three contracts we're doing. So now we can claim payment for these two. Oh yeah, all we need to do now is head to field 15. So that's going to directly go through the town. That and then left like field 20, between two big fields, and it's around what was it the concrete area over there? Not sure if it's concrete. No, 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 that's the railway silo over there. So. But anyways, overall it's been a nice day in that, but yeah, seriously we need to re renegotiate all of these contracts and that, because even if it's something like for a third, 40, 50%, something just a little bit better value for us, because at the moment we're struggling to get money in, especially since we're having to pay to lease equipment ourselves. If we could lease equipment from the authority or farmers and that, then what? That would be an absolute ideal for us, but honestly, I don't know. But anyways, I think uh, let's fill up what's here actually, because we could do some fuel. What is going on over there? Wait a minute, that's where we left our pickup to. What in the hell's going on here? Well, there goes the pickup, and where's the trailer to? Because, yeah, just, what in the hell was that? Like, pull up here, and that's all my pickup was flipped over. Apparently, it was a like act of vandalism, someone's tipped it over. Yeah, try to speak to the officer and that, and they wouldn't come forward with any potential deeds or anything because it's obviously it's now, it's a ongoing investigation but so the pick up three vandalized and the trader is missing oh you know what that is absolute lovely so I mean like seriously that is just ugh. why was anyone do that it's like vandalize our pickup in that well anyway top up some fuel how much is this going to take? Well, I'm going to put 300 bucks in there. Like that is absolutely thirsty as hell. But how much is it going to cost to repair the pickup? Because that pickup, technically, we didn't purchase that. We've got all the paperwork for it. It's under our name. That we're the registered owners and that. So, 
but yeah, honestly, I I don't know. <laughs> I generally don't know what's going on now, so well, hopefully we hear about. If you are expected to do any more mine work now, we're going to need equipment. At the moment, we've got a tractor that we can barely afford. And yeah, I've got a little more stuff that's going the wrong way as well. This is why you don't drive or ride, but you're angry and frustrated. Because you need to get lost to so the to where you're going, so... Oh, you know what? I'm going to finish this contract off, and then... I'm going to head back to the hotel. And then... Yeah, I think I'll get my head down, because... Oh, it's been an eventful day now, an eventful morning and an eventful evening. But yeah, this current contract shouldn't take us too long, maybe 10, 15 minutes of that. Maybe half an hour at most, which I hopefully not because I uh, mean we'll go over to the three hour mark. Well ain't this a fancy area anyways. <laughs> like, yeah. With everything going on, like just driving around. It is such a beautiful area now, like you've got the corn stalks here, got the river, got the mountains and that. Absolute sheer delight, so 15 is somewhere down here. But yeah, we've got less than 0.4 hours to do so. I'll say about 0.3, so a third of an hour to do, so that is 20 minutes, so hopefully it gets done by 4.40, 20 minutes to 5. But yeah, like, after with everything that's gone on now, I need to speak to the local authority, or even many people in town, near Frontier and that, and just figure out what the heck's going on. Especially now with this with, this, with the pickup, is it some random use and locals and that? Ooh, train. I don't think we didn't have a white cloud there, could have got clobbered for that. But yeah, so... Let's put lights on, we're starting to lose daylight now, so... Let me get this finished off, and then hopefully... I really hope we don't hit that three hour mark. I really hope not. Well, there we go. We are done, it is quarter six. Had a bit of a quick spot of tea in that. Or is it dinner? I'm not sure what it is called here in America. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, so I'm guessing dinner? Even as a Brit, that sounds weird, but. Anyways, having our evening meal for the day, so. Let's go and park this up. We'll park this up at the dealership. And yeah, see what the heat on in that because why well, actually is it closed? Nope, still open. We should have our beacons on as well on the road, but Oh, perhaps we should wash this first of all. Actually you know what with the day we've had Screw it. I've had enough. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it to the dealership, so I'm gonna let them do that. Ah yeah, all I need now is a nice hot shower and get some rest and hopefully we'll hear something back from the old build tomorrow and that. But anyways, that's where we're gonna leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button, feel free to come down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for I choose to do Hope you're gonna stay, but for now, this is me farmer Envoy Extreme all a very soon.